You know what's a growth marketer's dream? I was thinking along the lines of iterable. Iterable. You know, the platform that integrates all that data that you're just sitting on and makes emailing and SMS and push notifications and all the messaging so engaging that your customers feel like you just get them. Yeah, that company. They're also sponsoring this episode. So after you watch this, go to the link below and get a demo and dream some more. Okay, happy Friday, everybody. What's up, Matt Helbing and Rob Hope from Email Love. How's everybody doing today? What's up? Happy Friday. Hey, guys. Uh, what's up from South Africa? <laughs> I love it. Well, it's good to have everybody here. Rob, uh, we've got another email this week from you, Recess in Real Life. I'd love to hear what's doing it for you on this email and you know how we can learn something from it. So as soon as I saw the first email from these guys, I instantly thought, remarkable. I would just want to tell someone about it. There's obviously the side of email when does it relate to the customer? You know, what's the context? Is it delivering what it promised? But these guys, you know, they have a sparkling water. They want you to be reminded of their brand and they're doing so with events, these little pop-up. I think there's some magic shows and they're trying to keep things exciting. So for them, this design's really interesting. I would almost go as far as saying it's a little bit brutalist. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've got this typography, which is using sharp, grotesque. They chose just to use images for all the text to keep that branding, obviously pros and cons. But yeah, recess, you know, the, to go um, into their tagline, it's like cool, calm, collected. You know, these guys use white space. They use soft colors, gradients, floating clouds. I think they nail it on the branding point of view, but um, obviously, you know, Lots of, lots of images. I was actually checking out their alt tags to see how this email looked uh, mm -hmm. if someone hadn't loaded up the images. In it. And I thought it fell short. I thought it was overlooked because if you actually see like this event you're on right now, you know, Monday, October 28th, uh, you know, even the alt tags don't have the dates in them. You don't really know what's up. So yeah, anyway, it's a great looking email. The branding is is fun. And yeah, like I saying, it's remarkable. It's It's an email I want to share with people. I think you've really done a great job of summarizing it. It's really fantastic to see how brand can make something, you know, powerful and interesting and just fascinating, right? Yeah. I just, I love seeing how it can evolve the way that somebody feels about a product. From an email perspective, this is essentially a very simple email. It's just text and imagery, right? Mm -hmm. But they, they do a nice job of giving it some, some flavor. Now that said, there is no reason <laughs> at all that this has to be all images. I get it, it's easy, it's what's done. But the thing that I get really on about with all images is this content then is very inflexible. So for instance, with content being locked up like this, they can't do multivariate testing as easily and just change you know, some words to see how that connects with people. They can't change view schedule to try a different CTA as much. They can change out an image if they want, but it's not nearly as flexible. It's not uh, language flexible, so you're not able to translate it. It's not flexible for SEO. So I'm a big fan of trying to get emails and post them to the site. Like we're actually working out on that on our end so that our emails add to our content, add to our SEO value. This goes nowhere. This is content that gets stuck and lost in the internet. You know, like that's not 2020, right? That is 2000. Yeah, yeah. We already went through this on the web. We've grown up. Why are we still doing this? So, uh, you know, I think, I don't know, I kind of, rally around this soapbox on this a lot, but I think I would love to be a part of changing things through, you know, Microsoft Outlook. I know that they have some business needs. I'd never want to dog on them because I want them to say, you know, Matthew Smith, he keeps talking about this. Let's get him on this team and we're going to, we're going to fix some things. But I would love to see if we can, that's right now is the lowest that is the broken link, right? If we could change some things in Outlook, we could start seeing email as a tool, as a platform be extremely dynamic, much more in the same way that mobile is a unique platform. Email could become a unique platform on its own and a huge part of business growth. So I don't know. I think that from this perspective, they could lead the pack. They're leading the pack in some other areas as a brand. Why not, you know, take that next level? I did notice, it's funny, even though they're like really on and they're doing images, there's still some like 
artifacts. Like, why is this alignment off? You know, there's no reason for that. If you're going to do all images, you should have everything perfect. So I don't know. A lot of good stuff. The CTA is good. The design pattern, the design language seems sufficient. But that's what I would change is, is really start using some live text. But everything else seems really strong. Matt Helbig, what do you think, man? Yeah, I love the branding. I think it's such a fun opportunity to like use email as a medium for some of this stuff, especially if you look at their site, how interesting and responsive it is. I think there's little elements they could definitely do if they had, you know, that live text or, you know, maybe some different development, like maybe those clouds could be a background image that's a GIF that's sort of like floating or something and really bringing you down through the email or some hover effects that change opacity on some of these different images. So I think taking some of those web elements and trying to put them in an email, this amazing branding, I feel like they have so much opportunity and pretty lucky to, you know, be able to experiment with email as well. So I think they've done some really cool and interesting campaigns. But as you said, I think the all image stuff has sort of held us back about trying to, you know, feature them more on their site or or talk about them more. One thing that I think is interesting is this use of the pointer as a way to kind of grab attention to that CTA. Rob, what do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, this is a weird word to use, but uh, I would dare to say this email is almost psychedelic. You know, it's it's like... It's, <laughs> they do it's, have it's hemp like in their retro. products. So. <laughs> they do. It's like retro. We've got an, a can Eclipse below here. It's like quite an experience here. But yeah, it's, it's, it's actually just trying to be arty, I guess. And mm-hmm. they've done a good job at trying to break through the norm. It's definitely not boring. I mean, that's got to be the absolute opposite of this email. Yeah, agreed, man. Well, good stuff. Good work. Recess. Hopefully this is helpful to them and to other email geeks. Don't forget, uh, Unspam is March 12th through 13th. We've got that coming up. We may be sold out by now, but uh, we would love to hear from you. We almost doubled in size this year. Super exciting. And we are actually interested in starting some international unspams. So for those of you who are interested in in championing that, whether in South Africa with Rob or in Australia with our friends there, you know, or in the UK, or who knows, man, if I could get to Japan again through unspam, (laughs) like that would be the magic. I love Japan so much. So anyway, it's great to be here. Rob, what are you going to be doing this Friday, bud? I'm actually working pretty hard. Um, I'm trying to just improve email love every day. I'm trying to double down on the discovery section, you know, make newsletter discovery a little bit easier. I feel like it's kind of a mess online right now. So yeah, just get the submissions cleared up um, and just keep improving and adding value there daily. Love that, man. Thanks so much for contributing to the email space. Helbig, what you doing in Chicago, bud? I'm packing for unspam already. I'm just going to start really early. (laughs) It's my plan. But yeah, definitely check out email love. It's something that we check out all the time. And they have a lot of stuff that we don't have on our site, like email templates and more discovery tools. So definitely check that out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the space. Enjoy making email better for everybody. So there's that uh, quote, a rising tide raises all ships. You know, I really believe in that. Well, appreciate everybody. Have a great Friday, everyone. And Rob, it's been wonderful to have you on the show here and doing this together. So awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Cool, cool. All right. Bye. If you have any feedback on the series, please leave a comment down below. Hit subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Thank you for giving a listen and letting our sponsors know you love really good emails.